So I want to go back to your work. You just you decided to get on a committee or two. Well, when I was going through the city council process, I actually went and I uh, spoke to most of the city council members. And front, number one said, "Look, I'm I'm a newbie at this. Am I wasting your time by applying for the job?" Uh, and really, what back to your original point, what started me getting involved in this first place is I had a meeting with the mayor, and I said, "Well, you know, I'd be interested in running for the city council, but I don't." think I have any chance. I'm not sure I don't want to waste everybody's time. And the mayor said, well, number one, if good people don't apply for the position, good people won't get the position. So I encourage you to apply. And if nothing else, apply so you know how the whole process works. And then I saw Teresa at one of the city council meetings. And I thought, well, if I'm learning it, maybe her readers would like to know about it, too. So I asked Teresa, would you like me to write the article about mm -hmm. explaining how this whole process worked? And that's sort of where the whole the mm -hmm. series started from. So from boring controller, MBA type, to politician out there running for office to writer and committee member and involved citizen. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well. Uh, <laughs> All right, so you got on a committee. And you guys together decided to continue the articles, mm -hmm. except this time you're not writing about running for, for office. You're writing about your experience on, let's see, the first one was the levy committee. Correct. Well, the, the, the one thing we came out of with the article on running for council was that there were a lot of people who expressed interest in it, and you could tell they didn't really feel like they got a complete story of what was going on. So this levy committee was formed, and another committee that I got put into the tech, technology advisory Yeah, we're going to get to that, too. Yeah. Uh, and so I got the opportunity to be on those committees, and I thought, well, what I could contribute, again, because nobody knew what was going on with these things, is I'll just write about what's going on with those committees. And so that's what I did. Mm -hmm. Teresa, we're going to get back to you in just a minute, but I want to continue on with Harry. About nine responses that you got to uh, Citizen Harry and the Levy Committee meeting one. And one in particular, let's go to the click because the, the Dave Orvis that you guys were kind of going at each other. Thanks for the report, Harry. This is very informative. That was very rewarding to me to see people who read my original articles and thought I was out to do a hatchet job and later on began to appreciate that and understood what I was really trying to do, which was just get the information out so people of evidence could know what was going on. Mm -hmm. Is he doing that? He is. Um, and the best part about it is he writes in a very um, explanatory, simple style so that people can really understand what he's talking about. What I really value about Harry's writing is that he can take very technical financial information and turn it into something that everybody can understand, which when you talk about you know uh, budget problems and um, financial reports and most people just they they can't even grasp oh, the yeah. what your eyes glaze yeah, over glaze over and Harry has a way of just making it very simple and and people feel comfortable asking him questions too. so throughout the show we're going to be we're showing the response that that happens directly on on the blog itself but do you get people talking to you and saying you know uh, Teresa we're really glad you're doing that on myadmonsnews.com is there more you can do of that kind of thing um, yes they the comments we've received that I've received since I mean really since I started the blog but especially since Harry's come on board with the, the uh, just information about government has been really rewarding because they've told us that they appreciate the information they feel like they can talk about what they care about and go back and forth and and as you noticed from the comments sometimes it gets a little heated mm -hmm. sometimes people really get into it and they get they they go off on some pretty interesting tangents but they always come back to the fact that they love the town and they really want to do what's best for it Harry, you're also, as you mentioned, on the Technology Advisory Committee, and you uh, you wrote a a, uh, a blog posting essentially about what's all this talk about fiber optics really mean. And let's go to the let's go to the next one because here's from Ray Martin, and if you read this, this is one of those things that's not real nice. Tell me about that. Well, Ray Martin is has been opposed to the fiber optic initiative as long as it's been around. And he goes to every city council, not every city, but he goes to many city council meetings, and he always gets up during public comments, and he always had something bad to say about fiber optics and what it was a drain of the, the city's money and a, and a waste. Uh, and so I wrote an article trying to explain what's going on, and I was explaining that the committee was going to make a presentation the next city council meeting that would answer the questions he had. And he wrote in and said, well, here are my questions. Why aren't they answered? Why haven't you done anything about it? And I took the bait again, and I said, well, this is my first meeting, <laughs> and those, those questions will be answered at the next 
at the next city council meeting. And then I went to the next meeting for the committee. Mm -hmm, for the fiber optics, and we actually have that. It's, it's a little bit further down, but if we could get to that, uh, a little bit further down. Fiber optics meeting number two. Right. And so I, I, I told the people on the committee that Ray Martin is on there, and he complains every month, let's say, about this committee. So let's answer his questions specifically. Every question he brings up, answer those questions at the presentation. Well, who was saying this? I was saying that to the people on the committee who are oh. going to make the presentation. Well, well, wait a minute. Now, you're in politics now. You're a committee member on a, for, of a city council committee, and uh, you're answering questions. I just think that's, uh, I mean, he's an unhappy person, and he's unhappy because he doesn't know the answers to his questions. And rather than ignore his questions and let him continue to be unhappy, explain to him, answer his questions, and then he can either, he can still be unhappy if he doesn't like it, but at least he'll be unhappy knowing what he knows. Yeah, can we go to fiber optics meeting number two? Because that one was really special in there. Uh, it's a really, really short comment. But uh, there was something from Ray Martin back to you. And uh, as we get it up, Ray, let's, let's go to the next part. Uh, well, let's see. Well, we're, I'll just read it. It says, Ray Martin, on August the 14th, in response to everything that you said, said, great report, I'm impressed. Teresa, when you read that, what did you think? Uh, I can't remember if Harry emailed me or I emailed him, yeah. but we, we, I think we mutually said, wow, Ray Martin said he's impressed. I mean, it was like a turning point for, for us because it meant that we had reached someone who was very cynical and skeptical and had a lot of questions, and, uh, you know, Harry nailed, nailed the answer, and it was great to see. How much do you get paid as a committee member? You get paid nothing as a committee member. You just do it for the, the it, fun of seeing Edmonds improve. So... Um, what what is it that you're looking for out of the out of the people who who comment, or are you looking for anything? Well, what I like to get out of people who comment is I I want to make sure that people understand what's going on, and by their comments you can tell if they understand or they don't understand. And if they don't understand, then I know I have to change add to the presentation so that they do understand what's going on. And again, they don't have to agree with with what the city's doing, but I don't want them to have a bad feeling about the city because they don't understand what the city's doing. And I had uh, many comments from other citizens who just say, thank you, we didn't know what they were doing, and somebody's actually laid it out for us. And that's all the citizens are really looking for is tell us what's really going on. Don't, don't hide behind, you know, as you said, politicians don't answer questions. Don't hide and not, and not answer the question they ask. Answer the question, we'll like it or we won't like it, but we're grown up, we can understand. Hmm. Um, Teresa, well, all right, is it time for us to go to another break? Because this is a good, this is a good breaking point. We're going to take another break. But when I come back, I want to talk about the blog itself and essentially the newspaper that you have that's in a digital format.